morning, two are dead and more than 60 are injured after a massive 106 vehicle pileup on a bridge near the Incheon International Airport. Police say dense fog is likely the culprit. U.S. President Barack Obama asked Congress to authorize the use of military force against the Islamic State militant group. From the hit independent film to a multi-Tony award-winning musical production, Immune Heat brings us a look at once the musical. And all men are created equal, but no two are exactly alike. Getting that perfect fit on Korea Today, Thursday, February 12, 2015. From Arirang News, this is Korea Today. A good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome to Korea Today. I'm Kim In Jung with Kim Young and Im Yoon Hee sitting in for Ajin Soo. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Right, so on top of all this hustle and bustle we're seeing for the upcoming holiday season, uh, we also have a graduation season upon us. I don't know if you guys are affected by that quite yet. My daughter is graduating tomorrow okay. from a kindergarten. So I don't know if that also counts. counts. <laughs> it does count, it does count. Well, whether it's kindergarten, graduation, or elementary school, junior high, middle, or high school, the fact is that it is that season. It started last week or some time ago and is spreading to other parts of Korea. But this one very special graduation, this uh, was at the Gangwon-do uh, province and Inje County District. Um, there's a little elementary school by the name of Kirin Chodunghakyo or Kirin Elementary School where they had a very small scale graduation with one graduate by the name of Tan Kyung-ho, 13 years old. And uh, that school has a total of three students. Right, and in this town, there are 17 elementary schools which have one graduating student and uh -huh. 13 elementary schools with no graduating students at all. And this particular kid that we saw in the video, he said that he had moved from Seoul to this school and he really had a blast in the two years that he spent here enjoying the nature, unlike some of the kids here in Seoul. Yeah would just have to spend so much time studying all the time. But you know, talk about a personalized education when you have one student per one, I guess, <laughs> teacher. That, sure. All right, well anyhow, congratu uh, congratulations to all the students out there who are going to be graduating from their respective school this year. And of course, a big shout out goes to the small schools over in the countryside mm. and other parts of the nation. Now for today, we'll jump to our top headline for this morning. A massive car pileup involving over 100 automobiles on a bridge near Incheon International Airport on Wednesday has left two people dead and over 60 injured. Police say 106 vehicles were involved in the accident, which initially began with two taxis and a limousine bus under thick fog on the Seoul bound section of the Yeongjong Daegyo Bridge. Two are confirmed dead and the 63 injured were taken to nearby hospitals. Visibility was estimated at 10 meters at the time of the pilot, which spanned 1.3 kilometers. The Incheon Seobu police station has created a task force to analyze the cause of the accident, adding that thick fog and low visibility at the time were the underlying factors. And according to the operator of Incheon International Airport, dense fog disrupted op operations at the airport, suspending and delaying flights on Wednesday morning. North Korea has rejected South Korea's offer of humanitarian aid without, though, providing its reasons. According to the Korean Red Cross on Wednesday, Pyongyang rebuffed Seoul's offer of 25 tons of baby formula for North Korean children who are reportedly chronically malnourished. The Red Cross added the impoverished nation did not say why it's turning down the helping hand. In the meantime, Pyongyang's state-run committee for the peaceful reunification of the fatherland said Wednesday its military will retaliate if South Korea joins in on Washington and its North Korea policy, which appear to be applying more pressure on the North. The committee accused the South of siding with the U.S., stating Pyongyang has nothing to gain from sitting down with, quote, a puppet government. A set of measures aimed at ensuring the safety of Korean nationals in foreign countries 
amid increasing risks of exposure to terrorism and violent crimes have been announced. Now, following a pan-governmental meeting involving officials from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and other agencies, the government announced it will take measures to educate local students on the risks of terrorism and proper usage of the Internet as the Islamic State Militant Organization has been recruiting members through social network services. Cyber monitoring on propaganda activities by the IS will also be strengthened with plans to hold a series of meetings at its diplomatic missions in countries bordering Syria to provide information on safety for nationals entering Iraq and Syria. To beef up response to Korean citizens exposed to crime in foreign countries, Seoul will also increase consular staff in countries prone to accidents and crime. Good morning. It's time to run through the front pages of your newspapers. Now, uncertainty is growing over Prime Minister nominee Lee Wan Gu's confirmation as he came under growing pressure yesterday at the second day of his confirmation hearing, with opposition lawmakers appearing to block his appointment over alleged moral lapses. Now, this is again on all the papers today. We'll begin with Chungha Ilbo at the top headline. And it says, turbulence ahead for Lee Wan Gu. Now, this is the third prime minister nominee to come under public scrutiny since May after the first two quit over allegations of ethical lapses. On Wednesday, opposition lawmakers mounted their attack on nominee E, accusing him of speculating in real estate and omitting details of property transactions from his annual wealth report. If we go ahead and look at the sub-headlines, with E's nomination scheduled to be put to a vote during a plenary session today, the main opposition party yesterday threatened to block his confirmation. So options at this point include voting against the nominee, boycotting the vote, or postponing the plenary session to after the Lunar New Year holiday. Now, ruling party officials, meanwhile, called for holding the vote during today's session as scheduled. Now, if he fails to win parliamentary approval, President Bach could face another setback in running state affairs with her approval rating at an all-time low. Now, moving away from local politics, we'll go ahead and look at this headline towards the bottom of Joseon Ilbo. And this one's called 900 million U.S. dollars to be invested into K-Culture Valley at Ilsan, a private consortium led by Gyeonggi-do Province, Goyangshi City, and CJENM will be jointly investing in a cultural and innovation belt that will run through several points in Seoul to Ilsan District of Gyeonggi-do Province, all the way down to Seogipo of Jeju Island. And just in Ilsan alone, a $900 million production center for Hallyu or Korean Wave contents will be built the Korean Culture Valley or a K Culture Valley. Now, an in in inauguration ceremony for this mega project was held yesterday at CJ ENM Center in Sangamdong of Seoul. And we'll go ahead and look at our business dailies now. First on the Mail Business newspaper. This one is about pension reserves, and the title reads $90 billion era for retirement pension reserves. Now, Korea's retirement pension reserves surpassed 100 trillion won. Now, that's more than $90 billion for the first time in 10 years since the retirement pension system was introduced in December of 2005. With the importance of retirement pension growing to prepare for one's later years, of course, the size of retirement pensions are also expected to grow faster in the near future. Finally, we'll look at the Korea Economic Daily, this one at the top. And it says, practice of hereditary employment taking away jobs for the youth. According to analyzed data collected by the Ministry of Employment and Labor last year, almost 30% at some 600 companies have been found to be practicing an employment scheme that guarantees hiring in favor of employees' family members. If we go ahead and look at the uh, article closer, it also found that 3 out of 10 conglomerates also practice this form of hereditary employment, which takes away opportunities for other young job seekers who do not have such family ties. Now, the paper criticizes that this malpractice has been blocking fair competition at a time when youth unemployment crises are at serious levels already in today's society. Well, that was a look at our local headlines this Thursday. Now, following are the stock numbers from Wednesday.
Today is decidedly warmer than yesterday, I think. Yes, and are we ready to break out the spring gear? Oh, you jinxed it, I think. Maybe, you never <laughs> know, but I, would, I wouldn't put those parkas and the thick jackets away Not just yet. yet. We'll get a check on today's weather with Chun Song Cho. She joins us from the breezy outdoors, I think. Good morning. Good morning, guys. This morning, you have to wear warmer clothes than you did yesterday on your way out as temperatures have dipped overnight to negative 5 degrees Celsius here in Seoul, which is about 5 degrees lower than it was at the same time yesterday. This is because a massive high-pressure system over central China has expanded furthermore, giving out mostly clear skies across the Korean Peninsula, so we don't have enough amount of clouds to keep us warm like a blanket. But this also means that things will warm up more easily and quickly once the sun gets high in the sky. Mercury levels will rise up to 3 degrees above freezing here in Seoul, so you can expect warmer conditions ahead for this afternoon. The air quality throughout the nation has improved as well, which have been affected by smog from China for the past couple of days. But the dry conditions continue in the east coastal regions and the majority of Gyeongsangbukdo and Gyeongsangnamdo provinces in the southeast. So if you're in those regions, you gotta exercise caution not to spark up any accidental fires as warnings and advisories still remain in those places. Now with that, let's take a closer look at today's temperature readings around the nation. Midday highs will range from 3 to 10 degrees today, with Seoul being the coldest and Busan being the warmest. The coastal regions around Jeollanam-do and Jeollabuk-do provinces in the southwest may see some scattered drizzles tonight and into next morning. This is all for me with the weather forecast, and I'll be back later in the show again to give you a look around a perfect place to go holiday food shopping for next week. For now, back to the studio, Min Jung. New this morning, tough talk from U.S. President Barack Obama, who says the Islamic State is losing its battles on the ground as the White House submits a request for powers to use ground force against the extremists. We're now joined by our Eunice Kim, who joins us from the News Center. Good morning, Eunice. Good morning. Now, could we be seeing an escalation in America's fight in Syria and also in Iraq? Well, Min Jung, despite the tough talk, it does look like this new request to the U.S. Congress does not necessarily mean that Washington is prepared to send ground troops uh, immediately to fight off IS, despite, uh, of course, calls from some quarters to do so, saying that airstrikes alone uh, can only do so much. Now, just within the past couple hours or so, President Barack Obama did hold an afternoon press conference out of Washington and told his country that coalition forces had conducted airstrikes on more than 2,000 IS targets and that the group was, in fact, on the defensive and on track to lose. He said he was ready to take out IS commanders, but also, crucially, added that the authorization for the use of military force, also known as AUMF, was not a plan to dispatch ground troops, but rather to authorize the flexibility to confront, quote, unforeseen circumstances, for example, perhaps deploying special forces for a special mission, a.k.a. taking out a uh IS chief or IS commander, perhaps. Now, already we are hearing reaction from Republican leaders at the U.S. Congress who will, of course, review this request. They are saying that the president, also America's commander in chief, should be given a wider scope of powers, less limitations. Now, this proposal, if approved, would hand powers good for three years that is not bound by national borders and that could be extended to other entities tied to IS. Meanwhile, critical talks continue right into the night in Belarus, where European leaders are putting their heads together to try to secure a plan toward installing peace in eastern Ukraine, which continues to be battered by an escalation of violence between pro-Russia separatists and Kiev's forces. The heads of state of Germany, France, Ukraine and Russia arrived in Minsk on Wednesday with the huge task ahead of them. Russian President Vladimir Putin had conditioned this meeting with a 
requirement that certain conditions must be met without specifying exactly what they were. Now, also ahead of this summit, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko made a surprise visit to the eastern city of Kramatorsk, which you'll remember had been hit by deadly rebel rocket fire one day before. And we are hearing that more than 20 people have been killed in skirmishes and battles on Wednesday in Ukraine. Poroshenko said he was ready to install martial law throughout the whole of the country if the summit is unable to reach a ceasefire agreement to end the land grabs. Hmm. Let's turn our attention now to Italy. A court there has handed the captain of the doomed cruise liner Costa Concordia a guilty verdict on multiple charges of manslaughter. Yeah, that's right. More than three years after that cruise liner crash left nearly three dozen people dead, family members of those aboard are now receiving their justice. That guilty verdict came down just a few hours ago. A panel of three judges handed the captain Francesco Chattino a 16-year jail sentence, denying the now former captain's request for a plea bargain. The decision came despite the 54-year-old's tearful plea that he was only partially responsible for the deaths and that he was being made a scapegoat. Shechino was at the helm of Costa Concordia in 2012 when the giant ship moved too close to shore and crashed on the rocks off the Tuscan island of Giglio. Now, he did abandon his ship before his 4,200 passengers and crew were rescued. Despite the rescue operations, 32 people were discovered lifeless. Now, Shechino and his his lawyers are expected to appeal this verdict. All right, we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you for that update, Eunice. Sure thing. And still ahead on Korea today, Valentine's Day is just a couple of days away for couples around the world. A happy day when they can celebrate their love for one another with open arms. How can you make it special for your significant other this year if you're in Seoul? Chocolate massages and private yacht, yacht charters are coming up later on our show, so don't go away. From an award-winning independent film to a multiple Tony award-winning musical, the musical Once hits uh, Korea, and uh, it might be an option for you if you don't have anything to do for Valentine's Day. So just in time for that, our Yumin he joins us with a look at this musical. Good morning, Yuni. Good morning. So many people have fallen in love, including myself, uh, with the movie, then the soundtrack, and of course the musical. While this love story has landed in Seoul, and I think you're not going to want to miss it, take a look at the musical Once. Guy meets girl, quite literally. The Irish street performer frequents a local pub to play his guitar. And just when he thinks he's through with music, a young woman, who goes by the name Girl, enters his life. The multiple award-winning musical Once has been staged around the world with over 1,000 performances on Broadway alone. And while live music is nothing new, the actors here take the musicality of the whole affair to a new level. There are 12 actors and over 16 different instruments. So other than the main actors, everyone plays three to four instruments. And of course, mistakes and accidents are inevitable. For example, a guitar string can pop while on stage, but we have a system to cover for that, which involves constant communication between us and the actors. So the team catches each other's mistakes and is able to cover for them on stage. It's a tough gig, singing and dancing on stage. So these actors know a good warm-up is key to a strong start. Anything to get their bodies going. But this isn't your run-of-the-mill musical. Of course, they're singing and dancing. But this is once, which means doing all of the above, plus playing live music. This is also the first translated adaptation, so expectations are high. But the Korean Once team is willing to practice, 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 especially since there's no musical conductor on stage to give them the cue. 
cooperation between each and every musical actor is absolutely essential. That way, when it comes to curtain call, the show can go on. The biggest difference between this and other musicals is that we're all playing instruments live throughout the show. So we're responsible for the music as well. And since there's no director on stage to give us a cue, we designate a leader amongst us and that person will give us a cue. They may use their eyes to signal or they may make some big dramatic motion for us to pick up on. And through this, we can follow their lead and play the song together. Are they musicians, actors, or dancers? It's hard to put these characters into one category. But that's just what you can expect from this unique love story musical, as this is something you only come across once in a lifetime. Unless you decide to watch it twice, then you'll see it twice in a lifetime, right? I, I guess so, yeah. Well, <laughs> right. let me know if you watch it twice. <laughs> okay, well, um, artists, dancers, mm -hmm. I mean, they do all of the above, and uh, this is kind of a landmark production because of the fact that it's the exactly. first time that it's being uh, performed in another language. Right, so that was a big deal for it once. Uh, so the, uh, some of the members of the original production team actually were involved in helping launch uh, the Korean production, and they said in the beginning they were worried about the, uh, I guess, the language because, mm -hmm. you know, so the, the actors and their ability is such a big uh, part of this musical, but they said when they got here, uh, they were just impressed by the talent pool and they, they feel that the musical is in good hands here in Korea. Well, one of the factors that must come into play is the way that it's, uh, it sounds when it is performed in a different language. Right. And also, does it carry that same message, mm -hmm. that same ambience, and mm -hmm. that same type of emotion to the audience? Now, it seems that uh, it those are some of the difficulties that uh, the musical faced, but in production-wise, it was a little bit more simple. Right, right. So actually, this musical has been noted for, I guess, holding on to simplistic values and being uh, just very heartfelt. So with the musical, before it starts, you could actually go on stage, and they actually want to set this very local pub atmosphere, this vibe. And so you can go on stage mm -hmm. and you can order a few drinks. Uh, on like stage. Local, right, so you can mingle with the actors and uh, get your little drink and then go to your seat and watch the musical and enjoy. So uh, they really wanted to hold on to this core value, this idea of making this musical very personal, very intimate, and something that you really can enjoy. Okay. Can you take a selfie on stage, too? You can take your little <laughs> cell selfie stick out there and try it. I think a lot of people would want to do that. Thank you very much, Uni. You're very welcome. All right, still ahead on Korea today. When you're trying to get that perfect fit, it can be difficult because many people are of different sizes, different waist sizes, height, and all that, and more. So if you're looking for that great tailored fit, this, may be, this might be an option for you. Um, the ultimate way to accentuate your individuality and uniqueness. Getting tailored is hot, and I'll show you what I got tailored. My little blue shirt that I'm wearing right now. We'll get a look at that and much more later on. Yeah, this is the shirt. We're gonna oh, get a don't look. show us now. <laughs> Hold your horses there. All right, it does fit right, well, well, though, right? Mm. Time to check some of the issues trending online on today's News Sum Up. All right, a series of photos gives us a glimpse into everyday life in North Korea. Joining us is Sami Sorang for more on that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice shirt, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so the photos, they're taken by tourists, Russian and Chinese tourists, as they travel through the limited open parts of North Korea. Now, one familiar sight that we see is people on their cell phones, checking for a missed call or writing a message on the go, on the bus, at a park. And to get to work, some took the taxi, while others took the train, where portraits of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-un hang on the walls. And if we venture a little outside of Pyongyang, you can see a lot of concrete windowless buildings and people in groups working on the land. Mm. 
except for the portraits and maybe the colors of their clothing. I think this may very well be Seoul, you know, you know these people yeah. uh, on their self. Oh, what is that? Cell phones. Especially you know, this, that walking on the, just being stuck to their phones all the time. Yeah, you know, I, I really have to mention the guy on the top right corner. It's a little bit dangerous. He's sitting there looking at a text message while he's on his bicycle. You can get a ticket for something like that <laughs> in sure. Seoul. You know, I think they should be regulating this after <laughs> some time, right? All right, so speaking of cell phones, uh, the Korea, uh, Korea Link, which is North Korea's only 3G network provider, mm. they say, they know the latest figures say that well over 60 to 70 percent of the working population in Pyongyang own a cell phone. Wow. Mm. So times are changing over there. Definitely. Over 2.4 million subscribers wow. last September. Mm. Now back down south, an endangered species of whale has been caught in Gyeongsangnam-do province. The North Pacific right whale is the most endangered whale species in the world, with less than 300 individual whales remaining as a result of overfishing. It's huge, 16 to 80 meters long, and it's actually considered the very first whale species humans ever oh, caught. Huh. Well, one of these got stuck at a mussel farm in Namigong County yesterday, it got caught on the buoy ropes. So the National Fisheries Institute quickly rushed over to rescue it. The whale is still alive, but in a critical condition. They're currently treating it at the Sea Life Pusatan Aquarium. Right, we wish the whale well, whale well. I mean, uh, of course, they are being treated, or they are, or she is being treated, he or she, so good luck to the whale. And wrapping up, Valentine's Day in two days. Have you guys bought your gifts yet? No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of related topics are trending online, you know, roses, chocolate prices, unique date ideas, and so on, but also photos of nebula that look like some common Valentine's Day gifts. So, here we go. First, we have the heart nebula. Okay. Shaped like a heart. Then we have another common gift necklace. Sure. The actual name is necklace. <laughs> and lastly, to top it off, we have some roses. So the rosette oh, nebula. That one's beautiful, mm. actually. And also this one, shaped like a stem of rose. Nice. Mm. Get so me can some I, stars. So yeah. can I just go ahead and download this and then send it through my cacao talk or something? Or get and get the say, real star. Hey, there's your Valentine's or gift. Or name right? your oh, wife okay. after one of these, uh, I guess. Good morning, Nebula. <laughs> Only if you top it off with a real one. The photos by themselves might do justice, I don't think. Sounds right. like some great ideas there. Thank you so much, Ms. Oran. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, well, the much-anticipated Lunar New Year holiday is about a week away, mm -hmm. and many people are busy getting ready for the ancestral rites. That's right. There are a lot of things that do go on during the uh, new Lunar New Year's holiday season. And of course, uh, it is a very big holiday, one of the biggest ones there. So we'll go ahead and go to uh, Songcho for a little for a look at uh, what goes right, on. She's standing she by at the Agriculture and Fishery Market in Mapo. Let's go over to her right now. Good morning again, Songcho. Good morning again, everyone. Yes, Seolai is just one week away from today, the Lunar New Year, which is one of the biggest national holidays here in Korea. And we Koreans celebrate it with lots and lots of food. This is time when families gather up and uh, we give themselves, they give themselves, give themselves an excuse to eat as much as they want and whatever they want. So that also means that it's now, it's a super busy season for the food industry, especially uh, traditional traditional markets like here at the Mapo Agricultural and Fishery Market. Uh, right now we don't see too many customers because uh, the market just opened at 7 o'clock but uh, the sellers here say that they are seeing a massive influx of customers these days uh, because they all want to buy groceries ahead of time before this whole holiday. And, there are rows and rows of different stalls here, one after another, selling great variety of vegetables and fruits. Look at all these fruits and vegetables, oh my god, they look so tasty and they're so big, right? And then also, take a look over here, these gokgam, gokgam, which is dry persimmon. Uh, it's one of the popular foods that you buy at the Seoul holiday season. Uh, because they're usually served it on the uh, memorial uh, service table. Uh, and then, uh, wow, so these all look really good. And look at these apples too. They look so big and fresh and juicy. I just want to take a bite. Uh, mm. So I'm going to take a bite of this apple. Ooh, I'm so excited. 
Wow. Do you hear that crunchiness of the crispiness of the apple? 감사합니다. All right. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so sweet like honey. Wow. It's so good. I almost feel sorry for the that you can't try this right now. Wow. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a quality of fruits that you can get here at the marketplace. Their freshness is guaranteed um, because I mean, you get these products straight from uh, these producers right now. Uh, and then you can also take a look at the label over here, which indicates where exactly it was. Uh, th th these are the labels of origins. So you can see exactly where it was manufactured and produced as well. And wow, these are so good and crispy. Uh, and wow, so if you haven't gone grocery shopping yet for this whole holiday next week, come over here and get the freshest goods they can possibly get around Seoul at a very good price as well. I mean, if you're gonna fill your belly with a lot of food, you might as well fill it with a good quality food, right? This is Minchan Song Chil, Korea today. Now, of course, if you're planning to visit the Mapo Market, maybe you can get on the same Subway 5 line and make a trip to a big figure skating event set to take place at the Mokdong Ice Rink as the Four Continents Figure Skating Championships kick off later today. Now, with all the non-European figure skaters competing starting today until Sunday, some of the biggest names in the sport will come together. This includes names like Gracie Gold of the United States and Rika Hongo of Japan. Well, Korea will be represented by names like Park so Yun and Kim Hye-jin in the ladies' single and Kim jin Seo over in the men's single. The event has so far been dominated by the U.S., Canada, China and Japan, with those four countries winning 190 medals out of 192, with Korea and Uzbekistan winning the other two. Now, after the 2015 Asian Cup in Australia, many of the players returned to their clubs, and head coach Uli Stilicke is enjoying a well-deserved vacation. But come March, they're all coming back, as the March schedule has been finalized. Now, in preparations for the World Cup qualifiers set to begin in June, the Korean national football team has been looking for opponents for their March friendlies. And on Wednesday, the KFA has finalized the schedule with the national team facing off against Uzbekistan on March 27th, followed by New Zealand on March 31st. Now, the dates have been set, but a venue has not yet been decided just yet. Now, I've mentioned this several times, but the popularity of baseball here in the nation is bigger than ever. And the KBL knows this, which is why they've decided to start a brand identity. This means that everything and anything related to the domestic league will be identified with KBO, meaning the league will no longer be just called the KBO, but the KBO League starting in 2015. But not only that, all KBO events must have KBO in front of the event title as the league continues to make changes to the most popular league in Korea. And that's going to wrap it up for me. This has been SJ. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys again for your sports needs. The day of love and romance is just two days away now, and while many people are worried about who they're going to spend it with, others are worried about how they're going to spend it with their significant other. And today on our Korea Discovered, Joey Mercadante has some ideas for us maybe here in Seoul. Good morning. Good morning, Good Joey. Morning. Yes. Okay, well, here's your normal Valentine's Day date. I'll break it down for you. It involves giving, receiving chocolates, going out for dinner, grabbing a coffee, maybe watching a movie, and all of these things are okay, but not <laughs> very special, kind of predictable, and maybe even a little boring. This Valentine's Day don't have just an average date. For example, how does this sound? Having, experiencing a sweet, sensual massage, or maybe sailing away on a yacht, wow. like, you're, you, like you're your own very, you're the, the main characters in your own romantic movie. Sure, if Is you're that, a multi-millionaire. Okay, so it sounds too good <laughs> to be true, maybe? <laughs> well, let me show you how it's done. Around the world, it's known as the day for lovers, Valentine's Day, where, where can couples in love go to get an experience that's as sweet as chocolate? 
we'll find out about some of the popular places around town. It's February and it's almost Valentine's Day and love is in the air. For couples who have been together for a long time, for those who have been together for just a short time, and those looking for love, today I've got some suggestions for you on how to celebrate your Valentine's Day. Our first stop is one of the major date hangouts, a mecca of art and cultural performances, Teango. A pleasant aroma filled the make-it-yourself sweets store. This was a haven for people with sweet tooths. Here you can make chocolates and cakes the way you want. Both perfect gifts for Valentine's. I couldn't think of anything special to give this year. So I came here because I heard you can make your own cake. The basic sheet cake, which is the main body of the cake, are completed with the help of a pastry chef. Then you can decorate your cake from a selection of over 200 different figurines, numbers and letters. Ooh, so cute. So I tried making my own cake and, well, I thought I did a pretty good job with the decorations. It's definitely a one-of-a-kind cake, cake for a loved one. I love you, Joey. I love you too. <laughs> you and your role playing. <laughs> this could be fun to do on a date, for sure. Now the other perfect Valentine's Day gift is our handmade chocolates. You get to decorate the chocolates just the way you like them. Perfect really gift for someone you love. I know that the person I'm going to give it to will absolutely love it, and I'm sure whoever you made it for would love it too. Come and try it for yourself. For fun dates, a lot of couples choose to go to Hongdae too because of their cafes that have various themes. My stop was at a cafe off the main street of Hongdae. Now this may look like just a regular cafe, but everything you see here is made from paper and a little bit of love. Here, from cars to scooters, you can see a miniature world unfold, and everything's made of paper. The theme of this cafe is paper folding and crafts. The best thing about this paper crafts cafe is that all you need are the paper cutouts and instructions. There's no need for a knife or glue, but it does take concentration. No glue, so yeah, how do you use it? Right. Hmm. This is it. a fantastic way to spend one or two hours over a cup of coffee and really have quality time with someone you love or quality time alone. I left the romantic city limits of Seoul and next went to Pundanggu district in the city of Songnam. In particular, the well-known Chongjadong Cafe Street. If you and your lover want to get a little extra TLC, then try a couple's spa date. So what is the most popular massage around Valentine's Day? This spa uses chocolate made from 64% cacao for their chocolate massage. Wow! Massage. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Think about that one. A sweet world of chocolate therapy. Wow. That's got to put a Is smile that? on most oh. people's faces. It's a luxury that you don't get to try often, making it even more special. It smells nice and I feel like the massage has a moisturizing effect. Alright, time to see what this facial was all about. Thanks to the cacao, the massage leaves your skin smooth and moisturized. I can still smell the chocolate and my skin feels so soft and moisturized. This has been a very special Valentine's treat. I'll be looking forward to this next year too. And now we come to the icing on the cake, our last romantic destination suggestion, Hangang River. What are you doing, Joey? Ah, shh, it's a secret. 
I'm planning a very special event for the love of my life. Ooh. Everything was in place for my very special person. Low twinkling lights, a beautiful nighttime view over the Hangang River, tasty food. Now that you have finished your meal, we'll do to see if you get a free cruise. The night was far from over. After dinner, we got the luck of the draw for a very special treat. So she's the real deal. She's not a stand-in actress. The real deal. Yes! All right, wow. Joey. So far, the mission is a success. On to the next part. Next to the restaurant, a luxurious yacht waited for us. I was excited to see if my better half liked tonight's events. Congratulations on the win. We'll watch a short video before taking off. So what spectacular event have I been keeping secret? Aww. What? Wow. A surprising event that brought tears to her eyes. The romantic date on the yacht making us feel like we were in our own. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. The events continued into the night. We got to share a bit of wine in our private room on board, a romantic space just for the two of us. From fine wines to personalized cake, this was a night that was quite different from my previous Valentine's Day events. And it was all worth it. I wasn't expecting anything special for Valentine's, but I received this surprise proposal. I'm so happy and so very thankful. I'm really grateful to Joey. Thank you, Joey. My romantic Valentine's Day event worked to perfection. Now that you've seen how cool, you can trust my advice and try out some of the things that I did today. And who knows, you might land a very beautiful person just like I did. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone! Aw, so romantic. Mm. I didn't know you were such a, a complete romantic. <laughs> I am. You know, it's your the wife Italian is in gorgeous. Me. <laughs> your wife is gorgeous thank also. You, thank I you. think getting uh, you know proposed to on a yacht, you know, that's such a special it's out of got a movie, be, right? Uh, right, out of a movie. Uh, yeah, how can you say no to something <laughs> like that? Right. And and this romantic uh, yacht cruise is available to anyone. All you've got to do is make a reservation. Uh, the course is one hour long and there are uh, different packages to fit your financial needs and uh, of course the night course that I took is is the pricier one but I've got to say that it was gorgeous the night view uh, the new Jamshil tower the, uh, oh. the, the Lotte tower that's up there right. uh, Lotte world tower and the just the lights it was gorgeous so I recommend it it was nice mm. all right Why are the, you so quiet today? well um, Joey first of all in on behalf <laughs> of all the men out there who are watching <laughs> and also myself thank yeah. you very much for setting the bar so high <laughs> yeah uh, you have just uh, raised the expectation bar that much higher for men out there I, but, I apologize you know, okay so aside from the yacht though making these uh, chocolates along with your your loved one mm -hmm. I think that's probably the best way to do it spending some quality time together and and coming with some coming out with some results definitely I mean, you can you can spend a lot of money on expensive name brand chocolates and cakes, and that's okay. Or yachts, right? And yachts. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but you know, nothing says "I love you" quite like something you made yourself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I really liked this idea, and I just want to mention that the Valentine's Day chocolate event only runs well until Valentine's Day. So mm -hmm. you've only got two more days to try uh -huh. uh, something like this out. But the cake you can make, you know, all year round. Which I'm very impressed with. That's some excellent piping work there, Joey. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm, I, I like it too. <laughs> hmm. Very nice. Uh, I also want to show. Oh, I also want to show you the scooters. So uh, I mentioned this earlier. The paper, the paper cafe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were, no we were trying to figure out yes, how it was and, put together, and you right? Asked how, okay, so there's no glue. Take a look. They, Can I get they the have, green one? So you fold mm. it, and there are slits that allow it to go you. in place. Now, this may seem, oh, it's That's very nice. It's very easy, but truthfully, mm -hmm. it's actually quite difficult and time consuming. It takes about one to two hours. Beautiful. And you, there's each piece is so small. Mm. Uh, these it's particular ones are special too because they hold a they can hold a ring in the trunk. 
the okay, wheels so go around. Okay, so we've talked about so eating crashing. chocolates, having chocolates, mm. and making these little uh, paper scooters mm. along with your uh, better half or your yeah. special one, right? But uh, the chocolate massage, that's something right. that was a little bit away from my imagination. I was thinking that, you know, chocolate, you just have it, right? Mm. But then the high cacao yeah. content actually helps for your skin, really does uh, good. That's right. I was worried at first, to be honest. I, I had never put chocolate on my face. Well, not on purpose. I mean, not anywhere other than this area. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, once it, once it was applied, uh, it just smelled so delicious. And mm -hmm. I found that out that it was not only beneficial for my skin, but safe as well. Uh, they, this particular uh, spa, they use uh, chocolate oil, chocolate cream, and a scrub used from a uh, scrub made of cacao. Mm -hmm. So really great. And if it gets anywhere near your mouth, you can just lick it off because it's also it. edible. Mm -hmm. And I had some still left over in my in my uh, beard. So my wife got to taste a little bit. So of it. I think it looks like you missed a spot right there. <laughs> Good idea. Still kind of. All right. All right thank sounds you very much. great. Thank you so much, Joey. You're very thank welcome. You. <laughs>the focus centers more and more on this keyword, individuality. The best way to do that? Get tailored. Of course, this isn't a completely new concept, but it's evolved. Before, it was about tailoring for a perfect fit. Now, it's the whole nine yards. Fabric, pockets, buttons, design. The customer designs it all. Shoes. First, pick the style, then customize material, heel height, and sole. Lastly, all they need are your foot measurements. These are huge hits with trendsetters. But besides their uniqueness, custom-made products are also great because they can lessen physical discomfort. Like this customer who can't wear store-bought shoes because they press into his ankle bones. Let's see what goes on behind the scenes. After you pick your style and a cobbler gets your measurements, your shoes are perfected and manufactured at a warehouse. Each detail is made to perfection down to the millimeter. About a week later, voila! And how did this customer feel about his shoes? I have dress shoes on for about 10 hours a day, so it's important that they are comfortable and I can get them made like that, to fit my feet exactly. I'm really happy with the result and I will definitely do this again. On to the Tongde Moon shopping plazas. What's next on the agenda? Tailored jeans. We're here in Tongde Moon looking for a certain shop that is famous for their tailored jeans. So let's check out the perfect look. Customers get their choice of material, color, and cut for their jeans, of course. But you also get to choose pocket shapes, buttons, and zippers, too. For the fashion-savvy crowds, personally designed jeans are a must-have. When you buy up the rack, you're buying a similar fit, not an exact fit. So I like the idea of getting things tailor-made. Is all this excitement and frenzy over Taylor jeans worth it? I decided to give it a try. After getting measured, I actually got to chose the intensity of the wash, basically how faded or not I wanted the jeans to be. Then the on-site, the stylist and I chose a color, the line, the cut and buttons. A big advantage that I immediately noticed was that tailored also means anyone can cover any flaws that they may have. And if there is a particular design that you've seen around that you like, bring a photo to get a similar style. I love it! It's a different feel because I've never had a tailored pair of jeans before. So it fits really good, it hugs my body really well. So I can't wait to wear it out. For most guys in the workforce, a dress shirt is a necessity. That's indeed the case for this gentleman. Our very own Korea Today host at Arirang TV, Kim Young. Hi. He has to get suited up to bring us the news every weekday morning, and his wardrobe always includes a simple dress shirt. 
Well, shirts are really important to me because I'm wearing them pretty much five days a week at least. And the thing is that uh, there's so many different styles and uh, varieties of collars and uh, color matches, combinations that you can come up with. It's really important as, uh, as a matter of fact because not just meeting uh, people uh, through the television screen but also just meeting people in general, it's nice to have a good shirt. Sometimes a very busy schedule doesn't allow you the time to visit a tailor. But no worries, they'll come to you. First, the stylist will take your measurements, and all the customer has to do is choose the design they would like. Now, if you have the fashion sense to customize details, the stylist will walk you through fabric, fit, color, buttons, collar, and even cuff styles. If you don't know what your choices are, you can scroll down the digital images. It's hard to choose which fit suits best, so stylists will come to where you are and give you advice. Which fit is best, the best color for you, so we're offering advice to make things easier for you. Once all the designs and measurements are set, that information is passed on to the factories where each shirt is then made to order. There, each shirt is made with great care and intention to the specifications. Everything is tailored to your body, a shirt that fits on you perfectly and the convenience of being able to order on your smartphone. These two reasons are why tailoring services appeal to customers. If you're all about individuality, then don't miss out. Get tailored! Mm, everything tailor-made, we like the sound of it already. Panita Bajaj joins us to tell us more about it. And yes. Do you with the shirt? Okay, I guess we'll begin with the shirt, right? Yeah, I just actually got it this morning. We had really? it... Uh, just take that out real quick. And the model uh, for us? No, I mean, Joey's the model. <laughs> yeah, does so, it fit better? No, it, it does fit it great. It looks I, great, actually. I left one of the couplings out just to show that uh, I ordered this style exactly this way so I could use utilize cufflinks on him and uh, the collar is a little bit high up it's not one of those low collars uh -huh. and the uh, collar is a little bit shorter you decided on all of these things the yeah because I have a short fabric. neck I'll be honest with you I've been watching myself on TV mm -hmm. and I'm like gosh my neck looks short right <laughs> no so this kind of makes it look a little bit longer that. right and then also another detail was that the shirt on the inside most shirts they have a, an inseam that goes all the way down right. here a seam that shows right. mm. I wanted to keep that seam hidden make a much more a a cleaner, cleaner approach, the right? That's right. But oh, the wow. biggest difference is that it's tailor-made to you. Uh -huh. So a lot of shirts that I might get might be a little bit loose around the chest or around the stomach area, mm -hmm. but too tight around the collar, mm -hmm. or maybe the arms might be a little short. That's right. But it fits you perfectly. And the other factor is that they come over here, take your measurements, right. and it's in the database. If right. you lose right. weight, you can update it. Uh -huh. And you can always make that order just by picking the color online. Right. It's a great convenience. And also the reason why I really like it is, as you can, as you said before, um, it is fit to your body so whatever you if you have flaws that you want to hide you can always get that fixed and we have a couple of shirts here available um, most standard shirts are kind of like a stamp you know they go through the process uh, assembly line you can see that the blue pinstripe is a wider rim collar whereas okay. uh, the white I don't know <laughs> you can check pattern. but that's uh, right the the blue uh, plaid is also a, a, a narrower and a uh, a button right down to the oh, shirt. Oh, you can see the difference. That's yeah, good. there's quite a bit of a difference from the uh, the collar to the buttons, as Young said before. There are so many different ways you can custom to your own body, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why a lot of people are looking forward to the custom styles this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hats, you have brought right, with right. you some hats. We do have a lot of hats. Um, this is especially my favorite. It's the Arirang kind of <laughs> It's, <our laughs> it's your favorite. This is for our very own, I forgot your name, I'm so sorry. Min. You need me. Oh, you need me. Oh, yeah, I'm course. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for me. Oh, I get to wear I think I have my hair up today. We'll That's right. Throw that on. That's good. You could wear it to a soccer match and uh -huh. be a red double. I have to wear it to the side. Really <laughs> we'll add a little style. Yeah. Right. So you can customize the color. You the can shape, customize right? the design, to, the logo. Because there are so many people with different no. size <laughs> heads. You know, they could be bigger, they could be smaller. Nothing for um, us. Of course, we have the <laughs> gifts. Um, this is for. 
Minja. Oh, thank you so much. You always wear pink, so we had to get a pink I, 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 hat. I think this oh, is cool. such a cute box. So where you just it in <laughs> and then you see the That was supposed to be a secret. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Well, look at it. Look it up in the it front. It says, you know, just in case oh, people forget so my cute. name. Right. You know, the people I work with. <laughs> I mean, I, my name's... Kim Min Jung. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the latest, the uh, the new era style of hats that they call it is also a snapback. Snap so that's right. if you have a big head like me, then you can always adjust. Extend oh, it. this is so cute. Right. It is, especially <laughs> since this whole holidays, Lunar New Year is coming up. A lot yeah, of family like members can get maybe their surname. Everybody, oh, wow. you, can, you can start uh, I think rapping it's or something. I think it's that's right. Perfectly. Especially Valentine's Day is coming up, so it'd be right. great for our couples as well. Well, you Hi, know, I'm a little bit stinky today. Can you do something to help my stinky party? Right, we do have a lot of aromas and scents prepared. As you can see, the table is filled with so many things. Now, this, of course, is the aroma essence. There are so many different types, especially this brand has 128. So you can mix and match starting with your uh, base notes to your middle notes to your top notes. They smell really good. Uh, everyone wants a signature scent, but it could be quite difficult if you shop for a particular, very popular brand, you know? and you get a whiff of someone wearing your own perfume or cologne. So that's why we have custom-made perfume as well. Yeah, I think you can name the perfume after that's yourself. That's right, you can. That's great. And if you take a whiff, right. some could be strong, but they mm, are okay. as what you want. All right, we'll just have to wrap up the show at this point. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Panita, for all of this. And we're just going to have to get a little bit more comfortable over here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Go for that all casual right. look, right? Thank you so much for watching. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.